Hey, what's up guys? It's Coach K, the founder of TeenPulseLife.com and the creator of the professional teenage bucket troop called The Trashers. Now I'm with you here today because we're going to learn a new piece for the bucket. Now this piece is called Yuck, and I actually wrote it originally as a drumline cadence when I was in high school. I've made a little variation of it for beginning bucket groups that I've taught all over Southern California. So you'll hear it everywhere, I'm really excited to teach it to you today. So we're going to learn this piece by rote, and that means that there's no music that we're reading. That's why it's a piece that I teach to a lot of beginning groups, is because they're not reading music yet, but they need to feel like they're doing something productive. So we're going to learn Yuck right now. Go ahead and grab your bucket, grab some sticks, and here we go. Now, Team Pulse, you've probably seen us perform with our buckets actually attached to us as if it was a marching snare drum. You've seen us mark, play buckets on snare stands. You've seen them play buckets attached to these trash cans on our contraptions that the trashers play on. But today, I'm going to imagine that you've got a chair, you've got a bucket, and you've got some sticks. So that's all you need. So go ahead and put your bucket on the chair. Put your sticks in playing position. And I'm going to teach you the first part of yuck. Now the first part of yuck is actually from the original bass drum pattern. And I want you to repeat after me. Boom, got, boom, boom, got. Did you do it? Or did you just pretend? I'm telling you the difference between ordinary and extraordinary is that little extra. And this little extra right here is saying it out loud. Here we go. Boom, got, boom, boom, got. You got that? Okay. Now the boom is with your right hand. And the got is with your left hand. So let's play it in the air while we say it out loud. One, two, ready, go. Boom, got, boom, boom, got. You got that? Let's try it three times in a row. One, two, ready, go. Boom, got, boom, boom, got. Two, got, boom, boom, got. Three, got, boom, boom, got. You got that? Here we go. On the bucket. The boom is on the top of the bucket with your right hand, and the got is on the rim or the edge of the bucket with which hand? The left hand. Here we go. One, two, say and play. Boom. Now I'm going to throw you a curveball here. On the second time, we repeated that how many times? Three, exactly. On the second time, we're going to change it up a little bit. Instead of playing, we're going to play this. See if you can find the difference. Did you find it? I'll do it one more time. Here's the original. Here's the different one. Exactly. It's on that fourth beat. We play an extra boom with our right hand instead of the gat with our left hand. So those three measures now with the change in measure two sound like this. Did you get that? Let's try playing it together. Say it while you play it. Go. You got it. Okay. If you miss that by any chance, go ahead and hit scroll back on that little YouTube video so that you can master that because the next part is really, really important and it's not that hard, but you got to get that first part first. With your right hand, you're going to play one, two, three. With your left hand, you're going to play one, two, three. And with your right hand, you're going to play one, two at the end. It goes like this. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Say that right now. Ready? Go. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Now, did you find it? Your hand did the same thing as me. Try it again with your hand doing the same thing as me. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Did you see that? Here we go. With our right hand, we're going to play one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Now, did you notice there's a certain number that I make really, really accented? Which number is it? One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Exactly, it's number one. Piece of cake, right? Now, the other thing that I do for visual effects, because when we play buckets, a lot of people like to watch us, obviously, um, is when I play with my right hand, my left hand goes up. When I play with my left hand, my right hand goes up. And then I play again with my right hand, my left hand goes up like this. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. So try that out. Let's do it together. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. The tool is to count out loud. Are we counting one and two and three and four and like people in an advanced music class do? Heck no, this is just the beginning. But I made it really easy for you. You gotta count out loud. Boom, got, boom, boom, got. Or you gotta say your one, two, three, one, two, three, one, twos. So have you already forgotten what I taught you? Of course not, because you're smart. Here we go. From the beginning, we've got four measures now. A measure is that little unit of time that we were talking about. So here we go. It sounds like this. If you want to play along, go ahead. If you want to just watch and then play it with me, we'll do it twice. Here we go. From the top. One, two, ready, go. Did you catch that? Here we go. One, two, ready, go.
Exactly. Now that's called the groove. The groove is that four measure thing we just did. Okay, we're going to play that groove three times. How many times? Three times total. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. Did you count? Or did you keep playing? I told you to count! The next thing we're going to learn is what was originally part of the snare pattern. And it goes like this. For the first three measures, you got this part. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Three, two, three, four. Pretty easy, right? Try it with me. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three. Oh! I saw that. You're clicking down here. Click up here, make it exciting. We're putting on a show for people. Here we go. One, two, ready, and one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Got it? Sweet. And then guess what we're going to pick up with the rest of the group? Right here. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Here we go. So see if you can actually sing that first part, that bass part, the boom, got, boom, boom, got, while you click the two and four. Here we go. Tricky, tricky. Pick it up on the one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. One, two, ready, go. Boom, ka, boom, boom, ka, boom, ka, boom, 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 ka, boom, boom, ka, boom, ka, boom, ka, boom, ka, boom, ka, boom, boom, Did you catch it? Sweet. So that's the first part. Remember, we repeated that groove three times when we played that boom, ka, boom, boom, ka. We called it the bass part. We played it three times. Now this time, the first time is the stick clicks with the one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. The second time goes like this. <laughs> at the end with three measures before it. Now if you've played drum set before, this is probably a really easy beat for you. We've got one and two and three and four and on the right hand, right here on the rim. On two and four, where we were clicking in the first time around, we hit on the top. It goes like this. One and two and You can also think of it like this. Right, right, both right. Right, right, both right. Okay? So go ahead and take a second, play that out. Right, right, both right. Right, right, both right. Right, right, both right. Right, right. Okay, you got that? Here we go. On the bucket. One, two, ready, go. Wait, are you freaking out because that was faster? Okay, we'll go slow. Right, right, both right. Ready, go. Stick clicks, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Second time we got the boom, boom, got boom, 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 got boom, drum set status. And then we got the one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. The third time goes like this. That's the third time. It goes like this. got experience you want to do this part. If you're just beginning and that's freaking you out, just play the second time of that groove twice. Okay? Play that drum set thing twice. Okay, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, play it again. And skip this part. But if you need a little bit more of a challenge, go for this one. So we've got one eanda or watermelon. We're playing that on the rim. Two eanda. Play it starts right here with your right hand because you're alternating hands. Right hand on the top and then you're going to pick it back up on the rim. One knee and a two knee and a try that go. One knee and a two knee and a again and go. One knee and a two knee and a ready go. One knee and a two knee and a again and go. Okay, you pro with that? Great. So now you gotta play three knee and a. 
that was easy. Ready, 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 got that? Ready, go. Ready, 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 ready. Okay? Now the four and it goes like this, and you're gonna freak out, but don't worry. Four and a. Right, left, right, left. Some accents on the first one and the last one. Right, left, right, left. Right, left, right, left. Now you're gonna put the accented notes in the top on the top of the can. The third time of that in that groove, you only hit four because we're gonna go straight into the one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. So that whole third part of the groove goes like this. One, two, ready, go. Okay, now if you're freaking out, if you're like, oh, Coach K, it's too much. Okay, you know what to do. You can slow it down. You can replay this part of the video, or you can do what I said earlier, stop freaking out, and just play number two twice, okay? Here we go. From the top, so we've got our stick clicks. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. And then we have our drum set beat. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Then we have our sixteenth notes or our watermelons. Four. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two.